Geekdom. This is Shimon doing another reaction today. Reacting to a trailer. Uh, today's trailer is going to be off of Salem's Lot. <laughs> if you don't know what Salem's Lot is, it was a, a very popular book uh, from Stephen King. Uh, I think Stephen King said it was one of his favorite uh, novels that he had wrote. Um, it's uh, about a guy uh, who's a writer who goes back to a town he used to live and he goes to write his book. He meets uh, a guy who's an immigrant in um how did, how did he go he he's a you know he was a vampire um but yeah so it's a vampire movie <laughs> and i think it's like an antique uh, furniture shop or something like that he uh also is sparking a relationship with i think it was like a was it a college student or something like that i forgot who it was and so yeah we'll see how this goes uh i know they had an adaptation as far as the miniseries uh, there was a lot of like mini series for Stephen King's uh, stuff, <laughs> including it. And um, what was it? it was a oh, I forgot the name of it. The one in the mansion. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I can't think of it at the moment. But uh, uh, one of them was at uh, like a mansion, an old mansion and stuff. It was like a ghost, um, ghost one. But Stephen King has a lot of good stories, uh, and uh, there's a lot of movies based off of all of his books. Because, yeah, people are drawn to it. People love it. And I'm all here for it. I'm here for the new adaptations and new looks and stuff when it comes to uh, his work. So let's see this uh, Let's see this and see exactly how this goes. Max Original. I've always written stories. Mm. About things that are so terrible. You'll run away so your brain won't remember. Mm -hmm. So why did you come back? I'm here for research. What exactly though are you researching? Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary in the lot recently? Yeah, it was in May. Saving life was in May. What is it called? Something else? It was something else. Then they just nicknamed it like Salem's Lot. I think it was something else a lot. There are some folks who had some kind of unusual experiences. I like the tone and look of everything. Everything is just real dark and creepy. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to get out. They used to tell us stories about this place. I hate those like houses on hills, like those big. You have no idea. It's too many of those. Oh, it's too many of those <laughs> houses. Like oh my gosh. Andy, where are you? Answer me. This is not a disease you can catch. You're going out biting people. Don't open the door. eventually things have gone bad in the lot now mm -mm. some of these shots do look pretty nice but they, they look more like a, a series as far as like some of the shots than an actual movie Ooh. Um, basically the whole town is changing and turning into vampires and Whew. it's uh it's definitely wild it kind of it, uh, another show that I, I had watched before that kind of reminded me of Salem's Lot was uh um dang I don't remember the name of the show but it was like a small town on an island um and uh, a vampire somehow made it to the island and the priest or something got bit. The priest is trying to turn everyone as far as... Because uh, all the people that go to church, they're very religious. So he changes the narratives and stuff of the Bible and stuff to make it fit to... Um, 
like their vampire and kind of like demon type of stuff to where it's like these tricking the town and stuff like that and then turning all these people into vampires in the town um so yeah that was one that i was like huh this reminds me a lot of sigma slot but i forgot the name of it but it was a series and it was pretty interesting. Uh, it had some great shots and stuff for that as well. And they, I thought they did a nice job with the storytelling. But um, yeah, Salem's Lot is one that people uh, will like take from and use as, as far as just some of their inspirations for some of their work. And yeah, that's basically my whole point for that. <laughs> basically my whole point for that. But um, yeah. It's, it's very much a, a very great classic of a story. and I'm all here for it. I would definitely check it out. I'm going to have to get Max anyways. I don't have Max currently, but I was like, I might end up having to get it. I know it has like a bundle deal with Disney now as far as this stuff goes, but we'll see. <laughs> it's just these uh, freaking... All these freaking subscriptions to all this stuff man it's running running your money up like crazy <laughs> cost more than cable now it's like man it's like we're complaining about cable and now we're complaining about all these subscriptions i'm definitely not getting paramount and all the that because i'm like it's just too many just too many subscriptions but yeah <laughs> but i definitely would like to get max and as far as bundles and stuff goes, it, it makes more sense to do it that way, but definitely see. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. If you like this video, please put a like on the video. If you like to subscribe, see some more of my videos, please do. Thank you all so much for jumping on and giving me a try. I really do appreciate it. Please do take care of yourselves and others. Peace and geekdom.